Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to paint some cherry blossoms. So let's do it. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials. Today I'm using B watercolor paper, and I'm not really sure what's going on with the company, but I'm not sure if they're all discontinued or what's going on, but B watercolor paper seems impossible to find right now. I'm just using up the last of what I have. Um, so if you guys hear anything, let me know, but I'm not sure what's going on with the company. Um, I have my Princeton snap brushes in a size two in a size six round, and I have my Winsor Newton professional watercolors in my palette as well as some Dr. Peach Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink. If you don't have this, you can always use white gouache or white watercolor. And then my water and paper towel and we're ready to start. So we are gonna be painting some cherry blossoms today. And I did a tutorial on cherry blossoms last year, but they were a bit more looser. Um, and so today we're gonna to go on a bit more of a realistic looking route. So I'm just watering down a very, very light permanent rose color. Very, very light. And I'm just going to start off by doing the petals. So we have five petals and we're just going to do five petal shapes. They come in a bit more narrow where they all connect in the middle. Fill it in. There's one. Two. Now you can probably barely see the color of my petals and that's kind of what you want. They're almost like white. They're a very, very light pinkish white color. Okay. Do another one here. Like that. One here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make this one shorter because I want to give it a different perspective. So we're just going to make this one shorter. So it's like the flowers on a bit of an angle. And then one over. Hmm. And I'm going to make it a bit more narrow. <laughs> I'm mean, very indecisive. Let's just, let's try that petal again. Okay. So <laughs> we want it shorter and a bit more narrow, more to the side. We need to leave room over here for the other petal. Okay, there we go. Like so. You can always draw this out first too if you want to. Okie dokie. Then I'm just gonna go over the petals again. We're gonna add a little bit of darker pink color and you need the petals to be white. Nope, not white, wet, white, wet. I'm tired, um, I'm always tired though so. You guys, I'm sure, are expecting that of me from now on, that I don't make sense. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back in with a little bit more pink. And I'm just going to tap really, really lightly around like that. I just want the tiniest little bleed, not much of one, okay? Like that. And then I'm going to wait for that to dry, okay? And then we're going to do the center after. Okay, let's try another one. So again, watering our pink down. Let's do one up here. Now we're gonna, again, do a different perspective. So we're gonna make, let's start with a shorter petal. Let's do it like this. So we're gonna make this one shorter and a little bit fatter. Okay, so it's like it's on an angle. This one will be a little bit longer. Like that. On this side, this will be a little bit longer too. And then one up here. And then one over here, okay. So it's actually not looking too much like a different perspective. It's all good. <laughs> I'm killing it today. And we're gonna go back in with a bit more color. And just tap just gently. 
Just get a little bit of a color bleed there. Okay. Let's do another one down here. Okay. I'm going to do actually like a scoop. So it's really almost a side view of that one petal. Okay. And then I'm going to do a taller one over here. One coming up this way. One coming up this way. So this is more of a side view. Now, if you, I'm just noticing up here that there's quite a harsh line from that darker pigment that I added. I'm just gonna try and blend this out. That's what happens when part of it dries too fast and part of it dries too slow. So you can always just go back over. I'm not worrying too much about it, it's all good. And then, hmm. Another side petals there. Okay, bit more pink. Just a little bit like that. If it's still wet over here, I might add a little bit there too. Okay, and then we'll do another one, maybe pointing this way a bit more. So we'll have that scoop side kind of like this, just do a little like curve. And then the longer petals will be on this side. So let's do one, two, three, Okay, so we have five petals. I think that last one I did had a bit more. It's fine, it's fine, okay? And again, adding a bit more pigment. Like that. Okay, and then maybe we'll do, we could do a side view of one, like a complete side view, where it's just like the petals. So maybe round like this that. Maybe it hasn't bloomed yet, really. Okay, I can add a bit more darkness at the bottom here. And then I think we'll do another one that's almost blooming here. So we'll just do a bit more rounded closed petals. Like this. Like that and go back in to the base with a bit more color like that a little bit at the top maybe not I don't know okay so now I'm going to do my branch and maybe some buds so I'm gonna grab some I think I have some sepia here sepia sepia I don't know it's a really really dark brown and I'm just gonna have the main branch moving up through the middle here okay and you don't want it to be like a straight line you want it to look really natural and like lumpy and bumpy and curvy and then um, we will do the stems coming to the cherry blossoms the stems coming to the cherry blossoms are actually red so we'll do that after but they come off like a little bit of a stem from the branch here so I'm just gonna have that initial branch maybe it will come back over this way Okay. Just going behind some of the flowers that we have here. Like that. Okay, I might go back in with a bit more darkness on one side of the branch. Get a bit of a texture. Okay, like that. 
Then I'm gonna grab my red. So it's more like a pinky red. So I'm gonna grab permanent rose and a bit of alizarin, alizarin, not alizarin, alizarin red. And I'm just going to, from the, the branch, um, actually it looks like they come off There's like a bunch of them that come off one spot. So go like this. We'll have another one coming off here, 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 and there'll be buds coming from those ones. Like this. We'll have another bud coming up this way, maybe. Oops. I'll fix that later. We'll have some more buds coming this way. that and this and then maybe some from here and it looks like they come from like kind of a hmm, spot on the branch or it kind of sticks out a bit like that Okay, so I'm gonna do some of those buds. So I'm gonna grab my light pink first, and I'm gonna do some little buds with the light pink. Just some round circles. Like this. Okay. And then once those are dry, we're gonna go around them with the part that would kind of hold the bud. Okay, so while we're doing, while we're waiting for that to happen, I'm gonna actually go into the middle of these cherry blossoms with my red and permanent rose mix. And I'm gonna dot around the center like this. Okay. Okay, and then as those buds are drying, oops, you can grab your red and, and uh, pink mix and just do some little parts coming over the buds like this. They're a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, like this. So not as pointy. Like that. Okay, so once we're done those middles, um, we're going to add a little bit of shadow to some of the um, petals. So I'm just going to grab a bit more pink, very, very light wash with my smaller brush. And, you know, you can add some little lines for a bit of texture. Like that, just the tip of your brush, very, like barely any paint on your brush. Okay, just a little bit of texture. I'm gonna darken underneath here where that petal would have been folded. Maybe darken the underside here too. And just curve those lines with the shape of the petals, like so. Okay, and it just gives it a little bit more texture. I'm gonna just add a bit of darkness to some of these petals, just because they're a little, looking a little too flat for me. So like I'm barely taking any paint, but I'm just 
taking the tiniest bit and just kind of rubbing my paintbrush over it like that. And then I might go back in with this darker mix right in the center. So it's dioxazine purple and alizarin red, I believe. And just like a little bit in the center just to make it look like there's a little bit of depth in there. I gotta go around the bottom of this one too. And this one, like that. Okay, and then I might add a bit of shadow actually. So um, to add a shadow color, pink is, um, it derives from the color red. And if you wanna make a shadow color red, you can mix it with its complementary color, which is green. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my green, my hooker's green, and I'm gonna add it to pink. And it's just gonna create like a muted pink. And I'm just gonna wipe some of that off. I don't want it too dark. And I'm just gonna put some shadows in with this pink. You know, coming from the middle, maybe some of the sides. Just splitting up some of those petals too. Just giving them a bit more definition. So it creates that natural shadow color without adding black. Like so. You can always add a bit more. Those petals underneath that one, so there would be a bit of a shadow there. And then maybe a bit more around the center. Add a bit more of my green. And do a couple lines around the center, just a little bit, because we're gonna be doing those center lines too. So with some white, Wash it off and you can blend some of those lines out if they're a bit too harsh. Okay. Like that. Okay. Um, and then you're gonna want it to dry. So make sure oops, it's completely dry and then we will move on. Um, if you feel like you'd wanna add any more buds or anything like that, you can do that too. You know what, just while we're waiting for it to dry, I might take a little bit more of my light pink Add some more that are kind of starting to bloom over here. Like so. Like that. And then once that one dries, we'll add a bit more detail too. Okay, so. I think for the most part, they're pretty dry. So I'm gonna grab my white ink. I'm gonna put some water in there. And then with my tiny little brush, I'm going to start adding some um, of the center part. So really light line strokes coming from the center. Like that. Really light pressure, okay? And then on the tip of those little lines, you're going to do little yellow dots. So I'm gonna grab some cadmium yellow. Okay, and I'm just gonna do the tiniest little dots 
on the tips of those little white lines. Okay, and it's very, very subtle. And there's some coming from behind here. Maybe some in this one. That. Okay, and I know it's hard to see the white lines. If you want, you can always take your shadow color and go beside some of those lines to make them a bit darker. Almost like outlining the white lines. But that's about it. That is your more realistic looking cherry blossoms. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day guys. Bye.